a little while ago, we reached a pretty major milestone on this channel. We reached 100,000 subscribers. I think it's actually now over 110,000. And I want to just take a moment and acknowledge that. Traditionally, I have not been the best at uh, celebrating wins and celebrating accomplishments. I've been the type of person being somebody who's driven to just set the goalposts further out and be like, okay, that's great, and next. But this one, when I reflect on it, really means a lot to me. Many of you who've been on this channel for a long time realize that uh, how much work and energy goes into doing what any YouTuber does to, to be able to build videos. And I've been doing this since 2009. 2009 is when this channel started. And since then, it's it's grown a lot and it's been a really wonderful and rewarding and crazy journey. It's been up and down and anybody who's been online as a presence on any platform um, knows there's ups and downs to it. But yeah, it started 14, 14 years ago now. And since then, we've published 415 videos and those videos have reached over 12 million people. And we are not by any stretch the largest audio YouTube channels out there. There's channels out there with millions of subscribers. And to an extent, this is just a vanity metric. I mean, it makes the ego feel good to say I have this number of subscribers. But to me, maybe that's why I never really thought to celebrate it. But when you think about it on a deeper level, what does that mean? You know, what does it equate to for you? And for me, what that's meant is that I've been able to build a career out of this. And that means a lot to me. And I want to say a super sincere and heartfelt thank you to all of you that have supported this channel and allowed that to happen. I think that uh, for a lot of people, it's a dream to be able to make a living in the music industry. And this channel has been a large part of how I've been able to make that happen. It started off as just me learning about things in a very difficult way, you know, Back in 2009 and, and before that, when I first started writing electronic music, there was no YouTube, there was no Facebook, there were no schools out there online or bricks and mortar that were teaching music production like this, especially electronic music production. And so when I was learning, I I had to learn the really difficult way. I found it, it was a huge struggle to learn music production. I read manuals. And I still read manuals. <laughs> my friends say my tagline should be, I read the manual so you don't have to, because I actually do enjoy reading manuals. But it's not the best way to learn music production. It tells you what every knob and button does, but it doesn't really tell you how to use it. And aside from that, there was very little in the way of sources I could learn from. Occasionally, I'd come across people who were open-hearted enough to share what they knew. And a lot of times I ran into people that weren't, and they were guarded around what they considered production secrets and they didn't want to share that information for whatever reason. But, uh, you know, how I started to learn a little bit was I came into contact with magazines. There was Computer Music Magazine, Future Music Magazine, and Sound on Sound and things like that. And they were great, but it was really difficult to connect with the knowledge that I wanted because I wanted to learn about specific genres. And only every once in a while would a magazine come out that had an article that pertained to the genres I was interested in. And then I was using only one DAW. I was in Cubase, actually started on uh, Reason, and then I moved to Cubase, and then eventually I moved to Ableton Live. And, you know, the articles were so DAW specific that a lot of times I just wasn't finding information that applied to the DAW that I was using. So I found it, it was, I learned the absolute slowest way you can learn. I think there was a lot of trial and error and experimentation. So that's what inspired me to get on YouTube is when I started to figure some things out just through sheer brute force and, and iteration, I got so excited about it. And I think, you know, everybody has their natural aptitudes. And for me, I have a natural aptitude, I think, for taking things that are complex and distilling them down in a way that's digestible and making it make sense. And so, and I have a natural instinct to share what I know. I just, I love that. Um, Maybe it's because I found it so difficult to learn and I wanted to save other people that trouble. So I got on YouTube and every time I just found a little tidbit, 
that I found useful. I said, hey, there's probably some other people out there who would find this useful too. And so I started making videos, really shitty, lame, low production value videos. Like go back and look at my first videos. I've left every single one of them up. They're all up still. And you'll see me make a lot of mistakes. You'll see me say things that I've later changed my mind on. And that's the natural part about being a teacher. And I think you have to be real about that. Um, nobody's ever going to get it perfect. And there's a lot of stuff that I used to do that was ended up being bad advice that uh, that I picked up. And so, you know, I had that that journey too, where, uh, you know, you guys got to see me learn and grow and my music started off somewhere and it's gotten better. And my engineering skills have started off somewhere and gotten better. And you get to see that whole journey. But my first videos were just like shot on this little handheld 720p Kodak, you know, video camera with a built-in mic. And I appreciate you tolerating, tolerating that, uh, that production value in the early days, but, uh, man, look at how far we've come now. Hey, okay? um, I've been investing in my gear in my studio. You know, when I make a bit of money from YouTube, I invest a lot of that money back so I can make better videos. And now I'm shooting videos on, you know, beautiful cameras and I've got great audio gear and mics and, and all of that stuff. And that's something else I just wanted to speak to. I also wanted to say that this channel has given me the privilege to work with a lot of the world's top audio brands, and that's been huge. And I wouldn't have been able to do that without your support and your engagement. So because this channel grew to the point where it was a decent size, and in many cases, this channel has been larger than the followings of some of the audio brands that want to work with us that's been great and so these audio brands have wanted to work with us and sponsor videos which has been a key part in helping me to do this as a career and helping to create more videos for you guys and in some cases they give us equipment too and that's been amazing some of the audio brands that we've had the pleasure of working with odyssey that makes these headphones apogee that makes converters, some of the world's best converters and audio interfaces. We've worked with Tannoy and Dyn Audio that make studio monitor speakers. We've worked with Universal Audio. This last year, I worked with Logitech and I did the official video training series for their Mevo live streaming cameras. I've worked with Sonable more recently, showcasing some of their developments in AI processing within the realm of audio plugins. I've worked with Sonarworks to talk about acoustic testing and how their room correction and headphone correction algorithms work and many many more isotope fab filter sugar bites um and that's been super fun it's been super fun and it's been a neat way where i can talk about this super geeky nerdy interest um, that we all share and showcase some of the tools that i think are really interesting and and share them with you guys and to be able to offer some additional education in a meaningful way you know, and then there's Warp Academy, the company. You know, when I first started off on YouTube in 2009, I was just me, I was Vespers, and I'd never intended to make this a business. It was just a passion project. It was just something that I could do in my spare time. And as it grew, I started to realize that, okay, this actually has a traction, it has a following. And what are the things could I do to energize that, to, to be able to offer more value for you guys and to move towards me being able to to do this without having side hustles and stuff like that. So we created Warp Academy in 2014, and I created that with a group of other people. Jake Perrine was my co-founder, Miyagi, Andrew Maver, another co-founder. And I wanted to bring in other people that knew things that I didn't. You know, at that time, I didn't know really anything about mixing and mastering. And so Jake brought his artistry and his skill set and his mastery about that into the company and i didn't know a ton about like synthesis and sound design either and so miyagi who's builds synthesizers with his bare hands soldering stuff together he came on board and taught our our synthesis and sound design curriculum so yeah many of you might not have heard that history of the company and and why i got into it and kind of how the journey's been so without being too long-winded here i just wanted to acknowledge this as an accomplishment celebrate the win uh, most importantly, I wanted to thank you, everybody who's subscribing to this channel, everybody who's liking the videos, commenting on the videos, for your engagement and your support, and also to the audio brands that have decided to work with us and support us financially, um, to be able to work to reach our audience and support them as well, and the abundance that that's created, which allows us to continue operating.
And I find that very fulfilling and something I'm extremely grateful for. Um, on a final note, there's just a couple things I want to offer back to you and a couple things I want to tell you about. So one of the things is a sense of community. Like YouTube is fantastic. You know, I've been teaching online and things like that as well. And what happens in between videos? You know, I publish a video a week, usually at my best. Sometimes it's two or three weeks in between videos, sometimes a month. I even took a year off once. I was just, you know, overwhelmed and I was feeling burnt out. So I took a whole year off making videos before coming back. But so in between videos, I wanted a way to keep in touch. And we'd had a lot of requests from our subscribers and men members to open something that allowed us to, to keep in touch faster, more frequently. And so we decided to start a Discord server that was based on request. Discord was a platform that our members had recommended. So we have this open, it's free. Um, it's just a place where you can network with other music producers, other people who do what you do. I'm on there a lot. You can post music for review. You can ask for feedback. We can share and talk about different tools that we're using. And it's a great community. It's grown quite a bit and we have some really engaged people. And I think when you're on the journey of being a music producer, it's not a normal thing to do. I don't know about you guys, but not a lot of people in my world and my social circle are music producers and we're kind of a special breed and not everybody understands us. So I think when you're trying to build the habit of producing music and being an artist and being a creator, I think it's really important to associate yourself with a community of people where that behavior is normal. That's going to support you in your development. So the Discord server is something that I wanted to offer. It's a community where you can interact with myself and other music producers where music production is normal. Everybody shares that common passion. So I'll put a link below in the video so you can come and join up and I'd love to engage and connect with you there. And then I just wanted to offer you guys something a little beyond that, um, a package of things that with, are within my control to offer you. And I've worked with some of our partners, including Black Octopus Sound, who makes beautiful samples and synth patches, and uh, some of our instructors. And we've put together a package for you guys of tools that I think will help to support your artistic growth as a music producer. So we have over a gigabyte of free samples and synth presets from Black Octopus Sound and a collection of courses, which I've made free, forever free, from Warp Academy. And then a couple of my own personal templates that I use to write music with, and a few genre-specific project files. So it's just a collection of things. There's actually even a couple of eBooks in there that I've written, one about how to build success on YouTube, and one about um, music production and keyboard shortcuts and just ways to get faster. So there's like eBooks, samples, synth preset collections, and courses that I think you'll find useful. And I'll put another link below the video so you can grab that. Okay, I wasn't expecting this video to be so long, but I kind of had a lot to say. So as you can tell, this one's totally unscripted and I just let it, let it wind out. So um, yeah, much love to all of you. Thank you so much for uh, your support and the engagement. And I hope to get to know all of you better and expect more videos coming up soon. Take care.